All my videos are being demonetized. We're finally getting power. Well, maybe. Holy cow, it's cold. And it's currently 11 degrees right now. Our pond's frozen, their pond is frozen. Our water is frozen, and the animal's water is completely frozen. It's so cold that we can't even dig up this dirt right here. It's frozen solid. You know, we've been working on this front entrance. Well, we don't have enough dirt because it's frozen and I can't dig it up. So we need to level this spot out and level out all of this right here. You guys can tell it is a massive difference because it used to be down in here in a hole. So we got a lot of dirt to fill in. We're finally getting power. Well, maybe. Yeah, I appreciate that. There's just one simple thing stopping us, and it's crazy. Since the ground's frozen, we're having to bite the bullet and buy fill dirt. I hate buying fill dirt whenever we have 10 acres of dirt that we already purchased. It just sucks biting that bullet, but it's something we have to do because if this isn't finished, the trucks can't get through. Because as of right now, we can't even finish this fence over here because that's how we get in and out. We to drive through the fence post to get in and out because the cattle guard isn't drivable so if we can't get through it how is the big electric trucks supposed to get through it it's literally those things that just kill us we can't finish this fence which i think is looking freaking awesome on that side because we still have to drive through because the ground's been so frozen that we can't get the dirt to fill in the gap to drive through the cattle guard like we're supposed to so this has to be finished before that could be finished and then the fence has to be finished before we could do the rest of it so we can uh, get our animals set up build the barn and do all of that so it's always one thing is stopping us from doing the other thing and uh it drives me crazy we have this huge pile of trees right here that i need to get out of the way that way the truck can come right through and get over to where it needs to be Uh, oh no. Looks like there's something down in the fuel tank. We're gonna have to get it out. Just ran to town and I got one of these little claws to grab. Hopefully, I'll be able to get down in there and get what's in there. Get it or move it. Come on. Where'd it go? I don't know if I got it or not. Nope. Come on. Every time I grab it, it freaking moves it. Uh, uh. So close. Oh, did I get it? Oh, did I get it? Ooh. I think I got it, guys. Well, there's uh, one of the pieces at least. Well, as you could tell, a little piece of plastic from the uh, jug that you pour the uh, diesel in, it broke off and it fell in there. There was another little piece and I dropped it. I ain't gonna spend time looking for it as long as I didn't drop it back in that gas tank. Uh, but 
this little piece was stuck down in there clogging it and uh, not letting fuel out so oh i'm very very glad i'm annoyed but i'm very glad i do remember now back when the tractor started making problems is when the gas tank fell in it, it i had it rested and it fell down because part of the filter that's supposed to stay in the gas tank on the tractor i remember it like not being there and i was like all right when did this fall in i don't remember it falling in so i guess when when the uh, gas tank fell in it knocked it down and it knocked this piece down in here so let's put it back together let's see if this will work Well, just got some uh, frozen dirt delivered. I had to get dirt because ours was frozen, couldn't get it. His skid steer couldn't get it. The first thing he pulls up, it says, hey, you want some of this diesel 911? Because uh, he hit me up. He was uh, taking a little bit longer than expected. He got stuck trying to get everything working. Same deal. So I appreciate him, appreciate his uh, um, business that he does. And we'll be getting some more stuff from him. But I got to get back on this tractor. <laughs> all right guys next morning it's still freaking cold i worked on this tractor until it got dark last night i spent all night researching trying to figure stuff out i got it hooked up to my truck i just turned my truck off uh been charging battery battery is good i got the stuff out of the fuel tank that's good i tried to bleed the air out of the lines i tried to do all the stuff i could i got an oil fill or i have an oil filter um in the mail coming here I can't do it right now it will just crank but not crank on and unfortunately I just think it's too frozen I put the uh, diesel 911 in there then all that stuff so I'm gonna call it quits for now I already got some bad news I'm gonna talk to you about in just a second but uh, I'm gonna let it thaw out uh, over the next few days it's supposed to get in the 40s and 50s so I'm hoping it'll get above freezing and it'll start up until then, I'm thinking hopefully maybe electric won't come out because the weather's been so bad and they're doing other stuff. If not, I'll have to cut freaking fence posts down over there just so they can get in. Whatever, I'm at that point where I just don't care because <sighs> it's gotten even worse. For sharing the bad news, old Sawyer, he's enjoying the weather so that's good. But guys, all my videos are being demonetized all of them they're just constantly i'm getting email 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 and uh this sucks as a full-time youtube creator because this is how i make my money this is how i make a living and uh unfortunately there's nothing i could do about it i can't fight it i can't do anything and so uh what's happening is all my old videos that i had music on i paid for a subscription to uh, get the music so I wouldn't have to ever worry about copyright issues. Well, I don't know what's going on, but they're going through and demonetizing all my old videos. I got email after email after email. Just demonetize, demonetize, demonetize. Guys, when it rains, it pours. And this absolutely sucks. This is how I make a living. This is how Danielle and I afford all this stuff. Uh, yes, there's that nurse money, but as you guys know, uh, Danielle had quit and she didn't work for a while. And then uh, she is doing full-time training and then she's gonna work uh, three days a week after that. So the whole myth about uh, uh, the nurse money, it, it's, it's not true. Um, yes, she does bring in money, but it's not what we survive on out here. Uh, the, more, the majority of it is YouTube. And so when we get these old videos demonetized, it truly hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Um, so this is a warning to you guys. Uh, I'm very fortunate that it is all my old videos. And I'm very fortunate I'm no longer using 
uh, that site I had changed a while back just because I wanted better music. Well, don't use the site that I use because you will get demonetized. Uh, I, it used to happen and I would be able to uh, fight it and it would be fine. I guess the people who created the music or the website is going under and uh, they are just taking all the money. So how it works is if you're demonetized, YouTube will still make their money. They'll still put their ads on there, but whoever created the music will now get your money and on those videos that use their music. And uh, that's pretty wild to me since uh, we pay monthly for this website to get the music. But what can you do? Even though it's old videos, we still get views every day on all our old stuff. So even if we're only making a couple of bucks per video per month, that's extra money. Uh, some of these videos were big videos that have done uh, really well. So this is the warning to you YouTubers out there. Be very careful what music you put in your videos because later down the road, you could lose your money. So learn from my mistake. Um, actually it wasn't even my mistake just learn from this lesson because i paid for that music to be good and it was supposed to be good so i'm sure that uh website's going to get sued from a lot of people if this is happening to them but um i've counted i don't know like 20 something videos already get demonetized so um it's, it's just icing on the cake when stuff isn't happening and the best thing you can do is just quit for the day just let it go don't stress over it. I stressed over it all yesterday, and Danielle was saying, she's like, just let it go. Just let it go. Um, we'll figure it out. We um, can get it to the uh, dealer somehow. We can do whatever. And uh, I kind of stressed over it last night, and I woke up this morning. I was stressing over it. I came out messing with it, stressing over it. The demonetized videos, just put it over the top. And I just said, you know what? It's not the day. I'm going to take some time off, just hang out, uh, enjoy this brisk day <laughs> enjoy this cold weather with the uh animals and uh just go on about my day tomorrow and hopefully it'll warm up and everything be fine so hopefully we can get some stuff done hopefully the tractor will thaw, thaw out and start hopefully no more videos will be demonetized and thankfully i switched a while back on uh, what website i was using for music but major major tip for you youtubers if you're gonna do a video that you think is gonna do very well like our big thomas videos i never put music whatsoever if you guys notice that uh never ever ever put music in them because you have the chance of losing your revenue and you can make decent money on youtube especially with your big videos and that's the last thing you'd want as this being your career to lose money no one wants to lose money any job that they do and this is just a job that uh, i do but oh, i'm done talking i'm gonna spend the rest of the day hanging out and uh, enjoying the day and guess what tomorrow it'll be a better day